Yo, what up, dogs? It's Damon, and I'm here bringing you a lava, 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 lava bridge tutorial. I hit 5,000 likes on my last video. No, I'm just kidding. I hit like three likes on my last video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm just bringing you this kind of basic bridge. It has a nice little style to it. And yeah, so basically, push the lever, goes down, push up, walk across goes back down so that's basically it and yeah so we'll be starting the tutorial right now all right guys we're back and basically I just dug out the hole um, cleared all the lava and stuff like that to show you guys how I made this so basically if you have like a door or whatever I don't know what you have to connect it to but basically I made mine one two three four five oh what the fuck <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm in mine eleven. So this is what this is based off of. I mean, nothing much will change except for the amount of repeaters you use, because you got to make the circuits longer and stuff like that. So basically, dig out a huge hole, put put like four four wide on each side. You can make it however wide. Just give yourself enough room. So basically, you put the pistons two deep or three deep, and then put the block on top. So in this case, I use gold. You can use whatever again. Just don't use wood if you're going to use lava, like I said. And make sure the sticky pistons are facing up. Alright, what you want to do next is get some redstone. I mean, not redstone. Get some repeaters and put them on each one of these. And repeat that for the other side as well. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to connect both sides with redstone wiring. So it should look like that, and then we'll just move it over here and connect this side as well. So it's all in one circuit. Oops. Okay, now that you have that, you can test it out really quick. Uh, yep, I have a redstone torch. You can test it out really quick to make sure you don't need any repeaters. Um, I don't need any. As you can see, all of them are pushed up from that one torch. So next you gotta make a kind of inverse thing right here. So basically just I'll build it. God. I'm so unprepared for this. Alright. So basically you gotta inverse the circuit so that when you push the button it pushes it up instead of pushing it down. So to do that, just bring your circuit over to a little bit make it like an open area, maybe like I don't know, however big this is, by too tall. And basically you wanna make a shape like this, you want to make three in the back, like a T, and then skip one, go like that, and like that. And then basically put your circuit right in the middle of that, and then take redstone torches, put one there, put one there, then put one here, one here, one here, one here, and one there. And then you want to take this, put one there, one there, and then you want to take one here, one here, one here, and one there. And as you can see, that inverse the circuit. I don't know why. I'm just a boss. I don't know. <laughs> that's how it works. So that's what you want to do. And then basically, that's it. All you got to do is connect the uh, the levers right now. So basically, right here, above this block, I'll show you right now, I have a lever set up. Right here. This lever is just here for decoration. But this lever is right below. So you can, you can see one, two, three, four. The fourth one. One, two, three, four. So that's where the lever is. And you can have the redstone wiring below it. And it'll power the. To or it'll let you use the lever. So just move that over to right there. And there you go. So that made it so you can change it with this lever. Um. Yeah, that actually extended the circuit. As you can see, these all went down. So we got to do is just add a repeater right here. That's where I usually put it. And that should have did it. Oh, now we got to put one over here as well. As you can see, all those went down. Okay, so there we go. Um, so yeah, let's test that out really quick to make sure that switch actually works. All up right now down up okay we'll leave that down for now and we'll move on so yeah that's the lever on this side and then when you cross it you want to be able to turn it off 
So I put a lever up there, which is two blocks deep. So that would be one, two. I put this in the way like a dumbass. But yeah, so it would be right here. So what you want to do. You gotta make sure the uh, redstone can only be one block deeper. If it, it, let's say there's no block right here, if you put it right there, it would not touch the lever. You have to make sure you put it one block difference. So, yep. So we'll drag that over two, da, 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 da. and make sure this is deep enough. As I said, I made it four deep so that there's no problem like t with touching the wire if it touches. And yeah. So let's say I had it right here. If I had it right here, God, I'm just screwing everything up. If I had it right here, it would just screw up all the wiring. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure it's far enough so it doesn't screw up all the wiring. Otherwise, you got a big problem. And just drag that over to the other side. And add a repeater somewhere in here. And, yeah, I think you should be done. God, i got to build up really quick. Alright, let's see. <laughs> I had to repeat it the wrong way. Boom! Boom! Goes the dynamite. Ugh. Alright. So, as you can see, this lever works. Boom, like that. Cross there. And boom. So now to add the lava, all you have to do is patch all this up. So you want to make it, this one up here, even with the pushed up pistons so that you can have the lava not escaping that way, but only this way. And then what you want to do is make that the next one one deeper. So you can have a little base for the lava to flow into. After I remove all this sand. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, so. I think I ran out of gold. Okay, definitely didn't run out of gold. I'll make this one one deeper. Don't put it right there though, that'll screw up the whole circuit. And yeah, if you guys are having any problems with some wires lighting up and some not, make just add a repeater and see if it works. That's usually the problem that I always have. You just gotta add a repeater and if it's wrong then change the repeater direction because it might be, you might have put it in the wrong direction. Like I do usually. And that's about it. So if you just want to move your, you can move like your levers wherever you want. You just gotta extend the wiring to wherever you want it to be. And make sure to add repeaters if necessary. And that is actually it. So you just pour the lava one there, one there, one there, one there, ah, oh, god damn, one there, and then skip one every time, and put one, and then it'll make nice flowing lava, I screwed up on mine, and I don't want to redo it, but yeah, skip every one, and yeah, that's only if you have an even number, if you have an odd number, uh, I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> it, it won't, the lava probably won't look even, unless you try messing with it a lot, and that's the bridge, so, yeah, you can make it downstairs, your secret treasure room, whatever you want. You can hide these levers if you want. I didn't hide them because I don't see a point to mine personally. But you can, you know, hide the levers, have a little secret bridge. And, yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. And I'm probably going to be posting more piston tutorials like piston minecart, um, elevator, stuff like that. And if you guys actually want to see this design, like how I built this and stuff like that, you can... Um, I say I'm way too much, but you can leave a comment. Just tell me, and if one person says that I'll do it, I mean, I only ha I no one comments on my videos. I'm a loser. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.